I want to tell you a secret. There's only one thing keeping you from where you are and where you want to be. There's only ever one thing keeping anyone from where they are in life and the life they really want. That thing is called your standards. If you don't like where you are, raise your standards. If you're not happy with your income, raise your standards. If you're not happy with your relationships, raise your standards. If you don't like your body, raise your standards. What's the main difference between the people who are in good shape and those who are not? Standards. Most of us have access to the same information. Most of us know how to get in shape, but most of us are not in good shape. Why? Standards. Very few of us have high standards when it comes to nutrition and exercise. The main difference between the person earning millions and the one who is broke? Standards. We all have access to the information we need to succeed. We're all capable of earning millions, but some people put in the work required and most do not. Why? Standards. The main difference between the happy and the sad, the joyful and depressed. Standards. Standards define everything. Standards determine whether we will take the risk or put in the work or suffer for years in the pursuit of our dreams. Wherever you are in life, in every area, it is a result of your standards in that area. What are you willing to accept? In the dictionary, they define standards as a level of quality or attainment. Meaning, whatever level of quality you demand from your life is what you will get in your life. Whatever you place importance on, whatever you make a priority in your life, you will make stronger in your life. What is your priority right now? For most people, there is only one priority, getting through the day. So that's what they do. They only get through the day. For those who have high standards for their physical health, they prioritize exercise and healthy eating. And in time, you can see the rewards of that. Some people are happy with minimum wage. Some people won't get out of bed for less than $200,000 a year. And some people won't do anything for any amount of money unless that work is meaningful to them. Standards. What about you? What level of financial success do you accept? It has been said that a strong person isn't strong from a strong attitude, but from strong standards. The standards you set can make you stronger or weaker. Low quality standards equals a low quality life. Is that what you want? Raise your standards. If you don't have high standards, you will eat the donut. You will hit snooze on the alarm, you'll say yes to the night out drinking, and you will pay for all of that later. When you have high standards, you don't have a problem saying no. When you have high standards, you don't need to fit in with the crowd. You are focused on one thing, and that is your goal. Nothing will break your focus, nothing will distract you from your goal. No shiny objects will take your attention away from what is important to you. Never apologize for having high standards. Do not lower your standards for anyone. You must respect yourself enough to stand for what you want in life, in every area. If you don't like where you are, raise your standards. If you're not happy with your income, raise your standards. If you're not happy with your relationships, raise your standards. If you don't like your body, raise your standards. Why do most people adopt low standards in their life? Well, what happens when you raise your standards and no longer accept the quality of life of your peer group? You start losing friends real quick because most people are comfortable living a low standard kind of life. It's easy living without standards. Life is much harder when you demand more of yourself. Most people don't want to take the risk going after a better life. What if I fail? Well, the only real failure is accepting a life less than what you are truly capable of. If you are content with life as it is, congratulations. I admire and respect you. But if you want more, 
If you want to see who you can truly be in life, how much you can really do, how many people you can truly impact, you must demand more of yourself. You must raise your standards. You must set bigger goals. You must focus. You must set your mind every single day on something so powerful, so meaningful to you that you would rather die than see it unfulfilled. Raise your standards. You have to get to the point where you've had enough. You have to say, I'm sick of this. I'm tired of being average. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I've had enough of struggling. I'm done with depression. I'm finished with unhappiness. I'm done with everything that is less than the greatness I deserve. You have to get angry about your situation. It's only when you get to that point that you can move forward with your life. If you're okay with your average life, you'll never have more than an average life. Get mad, get mad every time you slip up so you get right back on track. Raise the bar so high that no one understands you. Have standards so unbreakable they all think you are insane. And then wait for them to say, how did you do it? Because you are going to do it if you keep raising your standards. If you keep raising the bar in your life, if you continue to expect more of yourself and put in the work to attain it, it's only a matter of time. You will get it. Keep going.